Okay, so I wasn't plan on planning on filming um, today. My kids are outside in the backyard. You can probably hear them screaming, but um, they're fine. I just checked on them. Um, my heart's beating really fast. <laughs> I, I really don't even, I don't know how to start this. I just knew that I needed to pull out the camera. Um, so my husband and I have not been using protection. <laughs> way to start out the video um we haven't been just because we know that we want to have another baby and we're we've just kind of left the timing up to god it's not like i'm completely shocked i'm just you're always shocked when oh, i don't even know i don't even know where to start I, I like i don't even know what to say like i've thought of this moment and i've thought about like what would i say what would i like feel i don't I guess I'm just trying to soak it in because this might more than likely be the last time that um, I ever experienced this. So we actually talked about like really trying in February because I always wanted an October baby. Um, but that being said, we haven't exactly prevented because we just knew that we wanted one anyways and it was, it's all on God's timing. The other day I was craving Olive Garden really bad. And I only crave Olive Garden salads when I'm pregnant, but I was like, it's just too early. Like, there is no way. Like, when I was craving the Olive Garden, I thought, it's, this is not a pregnancy craving. I just really wanted salad. But in the back of my mind, I was like, I only crave Olive Garden when I'm pregnant. Um, so I, I put that aside. And then my other symptom was that the past two days, I've been having to go pee a lot. And that was my number one symptom with Cooper, was having to pee a lot. And it was both after chai tea lattes, so I thought it's just the chai. Like, it was a venti iced chai. I haven't had them in a while, so I was like, they're making me pee. But in my Get Ready With Me video, I said that I couldn't stomach the idea of having hot coffee. Hi, sweetheart. What's wrong? What's in your belly? Baby. You have a baby in your belly? <laughs> Well, honey, is it a boy or a girl? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? I don't know either. Okay, go play. I'll be right there in just a minute, okay? Okay. Carter knows nothing about this. Not one. <laughs> like, I wouldn't tell him anything like that. So, that was really strange that he came in here. Like, quite the coincidence because he's never done that before. That was too weird. Um... Or too funny, shall I say. Anyways, the other day while I was doing my video, I said that I couldn't stomach the thought of hot coffee. And so my mother-in-law texts me today and she says, are we having another grandbaby? And I said, not that I know of, um, unless you know something that I don't. And she said, go to Target and get a pregnancy test. So I went and got one. Um, and I took it like I said I was expecting nothing because I feel like it's too early if I like calculate in my head I just it's like it's too early um, And it's positive I've taken three They're all different brands, but they all have a very faint line. Um, I think that I Am in shock right now the first one I took was a really cheap one and I thought I think I see like something really really small Let me take the other cheap one a different cheap one um, and it kind of came out with nothing. Now you can really see it. And then I was like, okay, fine. This is going to drive me crazy. So I'm just going to take the first response. And on the first response, there's a definite line. And now I'm feeling really nauseous. <laughs> I felt nauseous since this morning. So it all makes sense now, but I'm in shock. This is probably going to be our last baby. And I really want to soak in this moment. There's probably not going to be another time where I look at a pregnancy test and it's positive. It's all in God's hands now. It's always been in his hands. So I'm just praying for a healthy baby and, um, woo, feeling really hot, <laughs> uh, nervous. Um, four babies. 
and five if you count all of them. Um, well, okay, let me show you the test. There's no way you're gonna be able to see a line on that. It's like right there. Um, and then I took this one, which looked pretty negative for a while. And now I can see the line right there. See that? That's pretty easy to see. And then I took this one and that line, that line is for sure there. You can actually see, well, I see it plain as day. I am just, I'm in shock. I don't know if I should tell Jeff tonight, if I should wait, if I should tell my mother-in-law, cause it's only fair. <laughs> She's the one who asked and she was right. She has a really good intuition. Um, I'm legit feeling nauseous right now. I felt nauseous this morning, but I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I'm in so much shock and I just, it's not even first morning urine and it, you're gonna be a big brother. Are you ready for that? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And I'm so scared. Thank you, God. Thank you for this baby. I pray. I've been praying every night that it be on his timing. Not mine. I kid you not, every night when I go to sleep. And there it is. I can't believe that. How am I supposed to tell Jeff? What am I supposed to tell him? Do you know what this is, buddy? gonna change your life. Alright, I gotta figure out how to tell Jeff. Alright, so I went to Target this evening and I picked up a cake. Um, it's just like a blank white cake. And then I picked up some icing. Pink and blue. And I don't know what I'm gonna write on it. I haven't decided if I just wanna write I'm pregnant or we're having another baby <laughs> or you're gonna be a dad again. I don't know what I should write. I don't know how he, like, how he's gonna react. Like I'm pregnant comes off really harsh, but like you're gonna be a dad again, it's kinda soft, you know? Like you gotta let it sink in, but I'm pregnant just like bam, you know? So I don't know. Here's the cake. And yes, I've looked like this all day. All right, well, I need to charge my battery because I think I'm gonna try to film this. I don't know. I've thought about not filming it and just doing it, you know. But I don't know, I kinda want it on camera. I don't know what to do. Hey, buddy. What's it? No, 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 no. All right, guys. Can you tell what this is? I went ahead and did the blend pink all the way around. And then I did two pink lines. Um, the reason why I went with this is because I kind of like subtle hints. I don't want it to be so in his face. So I want to see what his reaction is. Like, is he going to get it or not? Um, I kind of want to tell him on my own instead of the cake telling him you know so um i don't know if he's gonna get this he might it would take me a few minutes to be like what in the heck is that an 11 so it is 9 20 at night i just took a shower and blow dried my hair that is why my face looks a little bit red it always looks red like after i get a lot of hot water and like the heat from the blow dryer on my face. But if you've been following me for a while, you know that Jeff doesn't usually get home from work until very late because he's coaching baseball. 
So it is about 9, I think it's close to 9.30 right now. And he just left. Um, he's on his way home. It takes him about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, more than 15, about 20 minutes to get home. So I asked him if he wanted me to make him some dinner and um, nothing fancy. <laughs> So he said, yes, I'm making him some dinner and then I'm going to tell him that I have been filming a evening routine and that I want to sit on the couch with him and film like some B-roll. So just a little bit of like us sitting on the couch talking. Normally I would mute that kind of like when we're just sitting on the couch talking, I would just use it for B-roll. He's not going to suspect anything because he's used to having a camera on all the time. So it won't be unlike me to have a camera on. I'm going to set it up on the tripod just like I would if I was filming, you know, a nighttime routine or whatever. I can't decide if I'm going to do the cake. Like, I don't know if he will get it. I, I don't want him to get it when I show him the cake. I don't want him to be like, is that two pink lines? Are you pregnant? I'm just going to kind of roll with it and see what happens. I don't know. I hope that this goes well. But he's going to be home in... 20 minutes or so maybe 15 minutes so I need to start making his dinner and set up the camera before like where I get the kids ready for bed put them to bed dinner you come home you know. like my entire life is on TV now. well good you should just be used to it and then your mom texted me I guess she watched it I guess I posted it. I did post it to Facebook I see what she said she said so my dear sweet daughter-in-law, are we going to be grandparents again? Not complaining. I said, not that I know of. Why? I said, not that I know of, but maybe you know something I don't. <laughs> because in my video, I said um, that you went to go get me coffee because I couldn't stomach the thought of hot coffee. And then so I guess that's what she thought. Why? Because I said I can't, I couldn't the st stomach the thought of having hot coffee. And she said, well, you couldn't drink coffee early this morning. Maybe I'm reading more into it. What the hell are we talking about? I'm just, I'm just telling you what she was saying. But why does that mean you're pregnant? Because I am. No, you are? <laughs> are you really? You're really pregnant. She told me to go get a pregnancy test. She said run to Target and get a pregnancy test. So I did. Run to Target and get a pregnancy <laughs> test. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy and I'm really nervous. Why? Now that it's actually going to happen, I'm just really nervous about having <laughs> so many kids. <laughs> I am the most potent man alive. I think you are. I figured I figured it would happen because not this early, but I figured it would happen soon. I've got super spurs. They never die. Apparently. I love you, baby. Are you ready? 
Please tell me I'm not having a baby in June. Am I having another one in June? <laughs> no, in September. Do I have a baby in September? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel real though. We're diaper, we're doing diapers for life. Nah, Coop will be out of diapers here pretty soon. Honey, I might die before we're done <laughs> having kids. I might be 60 before my kid, my last kid moves out of my house. 58, honey. 58. You will be in your prime still. <laughs> I thought it might not work anymore. I did too. I thought it might not work. I thought at some point the faucet runs runs dry. Me too. So I couldn't I couldn't figure out how I wanted to tell you. It was really difficult because I just I don't know. But I did make you a cake. I like your butt. See, that's how this happens. <laughs> Talk! I'm having another child. You must take care of another baby. decorate this and have you pull it out and say like I'm pregnant but then I was like well, I'm gonna see if he gets it when I show him this like before I ever tell you would you have got it I would have said so, number 11 <laughs> so this was the original plan and I was gonna have you be I was gonna tell you oh I made you a cake go ahead and get it out of the fridge and you would have said I would have said that's weird why is you there made an me 11? a cake. I would have said, "Why is there an 11 on my cake?" <laughs> but what is it? And then you would have told me, "No, it's two lines." And then I would have gone, "Shut up." <laughs>